Hey guys, Chris here. Today we have with us Stian from Recharge, who is head of PR and regulatory affairs. Welcome, Stian. Thank you. Great to be back. It's always fun, always fun to do videos yeah, with you. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Before we jump into today's topic, today we're driving the EQE 53 AMG. You drive a Tesla Model 3, right? Do you like this? Do you think it's nice or? It's nice. It's massive on the inside here. If you saw what I what I'm seeing right now, this this panel in front of me, it's uh, it's something else. Yeah, it's it's really it's really something else. I think that's a nice way to put it. This is the hyperscreen, guys. I'm going to overlay some some video of that. But okay, we're not here to talk about this car. You can find other videos on the channel about that probably after this video is going up because I think this video is going up this weekend. But today we're going to talk about load balancing charging stations with satellites, which you guys were the first to build in Norway and really is the charging station of the future, right? Yeah, we really believe in the load balancing mm. high power chargers. And we will drive this car over and show you guys what they look like and also talk a little bit about why they are so good because they are better for the power grid they're better for mm -hmm. the customer uh, it's just better all around and we'll get into those details okay so let's go over to the charging station over here shell riga and show you guys this okay so here we are now at the charging station so if we take a look forward here you can see they have eight of these satellites at this load balancing charging station. We have three cars charging here. So now we're gonna back up and then we're gonna charge. And then we're gonna talk about why this is such a great solution because you guys may actually be surprised by how genius this actually is. Okay, so we've now stopped at this charger and it says 150 kilowatts here, but because the car is at 54% and according to the car, the battery temperature is around 25 degrees. The car's not gonna be able to take, well, we'll see. I think it's gonna be around 100 kilowatts, but let's, let's see. Okay, so as you can see here now, we're now charging and well, the speed's gonna uh, start climbing now, build up slowly. Let's see what kind of charging speed we're gonna get. So what's great about this is that we are now four cars charging here, right? The charger can deliver 150 kilowatts but the car only takes 100 kilowatts. These chargers can deliver uh, power in stages of 25 kilowatts each. So now we're actually, you add 102. So now we are occupying 125 kilowatts. And that means the rest of the power module behind me is free to divide the rest of the power between the other seven charging points here. So now we're charging at about 100 kilowatts mm -hmm. here and the charger behind us is 150 kilowatts. Yeah. So that means that there's about 50 kilowatts uh, left over mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. we're not using right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. And that's what's genius about these yeah. modular load balancing charging sites is that you're not blocking 150 kilowatts yeah. when you're connecting to 150 kilowatt charger. Mm, that's genius. Yeah. It's really, really smart because that lets us move the available power mm -hmm. around to all the connectors on this site. Yeah. So if you are charging at, uh, let's say, 95 kilowatts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then we are using 100 kilowatts because yeah. it increases in steps of 25. Mm -hmm. So the lowest we can, uh, we can block from the power grid is 25 kilowatts. 25 kilowatts. Then you can take one step up, 50 mm -hmm. kilowatts, 75, mm -hmm. 100, and so on. So if you're mm -hmm. charging here at 60, yeah. then we're uh, using 75 kilowatts yeah. of power from the grid. If you're charging with uh, like almost 100, like mm -hmm. now, then we're using 100. Mm -hmm. And that's so smart because if you've driven an electric car before, I mean, you may be completely new here to the channel if you are welcome. But the way an EV charges is that it will charge faster with a low percent state of charge. And the more you charge the car, the higher you get into the percentage, the closer to 100% or a full battery, the slower the car charges. So if this was a traditional 150 kilowatt charger with a 150 kilowatt power module, you would be, as the said, blocking 150 kilowatts from you started till you were finished. Like this EQE, if we're, we're gonna charge to 100% now, at probably 90, 95%, I'm guessing we would be charging at maybe 20, 15 kilowatts. But that means at a traditional charging site, charging station, we would be blocking 150 kilowatts, which is just insane. But here, 
because it's dynamic and it can move the power around, it doesn't matter. We can charge to 100% here, we can be charging at 10 kilowatts, but we're only gonna be blocking 25 kilowatts, and that means the rest of the available power at a charging site, and that's always limited, right? And as I was saying, that means the rest of the available power here at this charging site can be allocated to other cars charging, and that is just genius and absolutely the way to do charging stations in the future. Absolutely. So let's go outside and I'll show you what this actually looks like, what the modules and everything, uh, what it looks like. So this big cabinet behind me here is called a charging power unit. And this is basically one big charger with eight cables connected to it, the ones that you see along here. So all the power units, power modules, they're inside this big cabinet. And then everything is connected to these chargers. And they have, as you can see over here, all of them have a CCS plug, and then some of them also have a Shademo plug. Not all of them have Shademos. You can't use both plugs at the same time uh, on this one satellite, uh, but this, you know, lets people with the older Nissan Leafs and those kinds of cars also be able to charge here. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about why this is so smart, mm -hmm. because what happens here is that even though we have eight 150 kilowatt chargers, mm -hmm. we do not need 1,200 kilowatts mm -hmm. of power. To Which put would be 150 up. kilowatts times eight, right? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, because we can move the power mm -hmm. around, we can install much less than 1,200 kilowatts mm -hmm. for this entire site. Okay, interesting. And that's good for several reasons. Mm -hmm. It's good for the electricity grid in this area that sure, we're in. Sure, sure. It makes it cheaper for us to operate the charging station, mm -hmm. and that ends up with a cheaper uh, charging uh, fee for the customer, yeah. mm -hmm. so, which mm -hmm. is the most important, that mm -hmm. we can keep the prices for the customer as low as possible. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, because you're not having to request and occupy as you said, 1200 uh, kilowatts from this site, that means you can actually build more charging points, right? So maybe, I don't know what the math is, but say you build like traditional 150 kilowatt power modules, that means you would only be able to build, say you can, I don't know, uh, quick math, 800 uh, kilowatts on this site, you maybe would only be able to build like four, or five? Maybe four or five or something. Yeah, like but that. now you can actually build eight charging points. So everybody wins. Like yeah. everybody wins. Yeah, we can build more with less mm. power. I so like that. More with less power. Yeah, it's 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 really genius. Uh, and also we got to mention that these chargers behind us here, they're produced by a Finnish company called Kempower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just to mention that. Uh, I guess you call it a shout out on YouTube. Shout out, yeah. Shout out to Ken Power. Shout out to, on MySpace. No, I'm kidding. We're just yeah. we're just old. Yeah, but uh, but so a recharge. We use a lot of these Ken Power uh, yeah. chargers mm -hmm. and satellite mm -hmm. systems uh, in both Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Yeah. And the one that we have here with eight chargers, that's kind of a standard setup that we do. But we could, we can also do lots more. So in mm -hmm. some places we have 16. Then we just put up another big cabinet of mm -hmm. power modules. You know, and you can put up another yeah. cabinet, and then you do 24. And so on so so we can do you know really big systems uh, but this must sites. actually like mean you can actually upgrade your sites both cheaper you can get more charging points with actually having to request less power from the grid I mean there's no bad thing about this charging station in in my opinion I don't know guys this video is of course sponsored by recharge because well they are the sponsor of this video and CN also works in recharge and we are at the recharge station but genuinely this is better for everybody it's just a real smart way to do this in my opinion yeah it is a very smart system everybody wins uh, and and yeah. uh, as we talked about earlier uh, maybe that was off screen, but uh, you don't have to really worry as much about uh, connecting to the wrong charger. If you yeah. have, if you have like a Volkswagen Eagle or an older mm -hmm. car that cannot uh, charge with more than let's say 50 kilowatts, you mm -hmm. can still connect to one of these and uh, the charger will make sure that mm -hmm. uh, no more power is uh, reserved in the yeah. power grid yeah. than what you actually need. I mean, that's that's a really nice thing you said there, because like moving forward as EVs get, you know, uh, faster charging, as their grid gets built out with more and more like hyperchargers, people driving 
older electric cars, like as you said, e-golfs and stuff like that, may feel like they're a burden because they're like, oh, I don't want to occupy like this 150 kilowatt charger because my car can only charge at like 40 kilowatts. Now, with these chargers, you don't have to do any thinking. You just go to the charger, you just connect, and then the charging station just sorts out the rest. Exactly. Okay, so I hope you guys understood that we tried to do this without being too technical. I mean, we're talking about electricity, amperage, voltage, and charging stations. It's, it can become really complicated. But if you have any questions, well, ask us in the comment section down below. I think Stian also will probably participate in answering your questions. So thank you again, Stian, for joining us here for another great, insightful and, 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 and video where we learn a lot of stuff. Yeah, always fun to be in your videos, uh, Chris. I'm looking forward to be back again. Yeah, we're looking forward to have you more here on the channel. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.